Health Pack. I'm Paul Sabulo. And I'm Gabby Bonbon. Today is Tuesday, March 8th, and we're here with your morning announcements. Congratulations to Jaden Jones, who is selected to receive a $25 gift card to a store or restaurant of his choosing. You'll be contacted at some point this week so you can let us know what gift card you want. The CLHS Red Cross Club is having a fundraiser this week. It will take th place this Thursday, March 10th, at Fish and Things Poke Bar on Laguna Boulevard. Are you interested in being part of the CUHS cheer team? Cheer clinics will take place from March 30th to April 7th. Anyone interested in trying out is welcome. Scan the QR code in the top left corner to register for the clinics. Attention juniors and seniors. Ball and prom tickets are on sale for the rest of the month. The actual event is on Saturday, April 9th from 7 to 11 p.m. here at CO. Tickets cost $45 and formal attire is required. There will also be food available for purchase. Don't like to dance? No worries. There will also be a game room and a movie room. Speaking of prom, Culinary is hosting a fundraiser dinner to help raise money for junior prom. Tickets can be purchased at the student store or with a school site controller. With the purchase of a dinner, you will also get a prom ticket. There will only be 100 spaces available for the dinner, so get your tickets fast. Email Ms. Henderson for more information. Now let's pass on over to Dylan Josiah for your sports update. What's crack a in Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Welcome back to your sports update. Congrats to our track team for taking on a really tough meet this past weekend. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Brianna Wills for uh, taking first in the long jump with a distance of 17 feet and 5 inches. She beat 32 other athletes to get first. That's crazy. Yeah. Congrats again to our big man right here, Mr. Josiah Edwards, hitting a new personal record in discus and second place overall with a mark of 138 feet and 4 inches. He beat 53 athletes to get second. You're an absolute unit. Thanks, man. Next up, our baseball team had a tough loss against McClatchy, losing 14 to 1. They play golf tomorrow at home, so make sure to come out and support. Our men's volleyball team also had a tough loss to Monterey Trail, losing three sets to zero. Tomorrow, they take a trip to Davis. Go get them, boys. In NFL news, Falcon wide receiver Calvin Ridley has been suspended for the 2022 NFL season for allegedly gambling on his own team to win. According to Ridley, he has only spent $1,500 on gambling and says, I don't have a gambling problem. What do you think, Josiah? Should he be suspended for gambling on his own team? You know, Dylan, to be honest, I do not think he should be. Maybe for like a couple of games, but most NFL players do a lot worse, so I don't think he should be banned for the entire season. Exactly. I don't think this should be on like the NFL's biggest worry list right, right now, but we'll leave it up to the experts. Yep. Well, thanks for tuning in to your sports update. Back to the anchors. Thanks guys. As term three comes to an end, many library materials will be showing up as due. For your textbooks and novels, hang on to them until your teachers tell you to return them as a class this week. For scientific calculators, those don't need to be renewed and are checked out for the rest of the year. Non-scientific calculators need to be turned in or renewed. For AP textbooks, hang on, hang on to them af until after AP exam. After your exam, you can return them to the library anytime the library is open. Is there a teacher on campus that you want to recognize for demonstrating our IMCO principles? If so, stop by the leadership room and fill out an IMCO teacher edition slip. That teacher will then be entered into a drawing for the next staff meeting. Attention seniors, as graduation comes closer, the time has come to pre-order your graduation DVD. Scan the QR code shown to order online. Ordering online is the only way to purchase your DVD or Blu-ray discs. Seniors, have you recently been accepted into a CSU? Congratulations. To celebrate your acceptance, many CSU campuses will be hosting a virtual event today from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. If you're interested, check your Synergy email about registration information. Sophomores and juniors, are you interested in taking advanced ed courses and earning college credit at one of the community colleges? Summer applications open on March 15th. Check your Synergy email for more information. Just a reminder that the Career Center is open before and after school and during both lunches. If you want to use the Career Center during class time, you must check in with your teacher first at the beginning of the period and have an improved pass from the teacher. Now let's check out the Rainbow Coalition. I joined this club because back at, it was with Pinkerton, my friends uh, kind of started the GSA club there. And so we wanted another place over here and it was already here. And so like we just joined in because we wanted our own space to uh, feel comfortable. Um, here we have our own space to just relax and feel free to talk about ourselves, to talk about issues that are concerning us and 
like have space to just like have things in common with each other that might not be something that we have in common with the rest of the school really. The results of the ASB officer elections are in. Congratulations to Solana Rodriguez for winning ASB president, TJ Kumar for winning vice president, Milan Rawls for treasurer, and Julian Gonzalez for secretary. Congratulations to senior governor Anuran Vigneswaran, junior governor Mika Rucker, sophomore governor Ryan Fan, and lastly, EGOC student board member Catherine Fan. Now let's check out a trailer for the theater performance Quarantined. Quarantine is a production about the experiences teens went through during quarantine. With this, we put all the emotions and feelings and experiences that we went through so that people, like adults, can see what exactly kids went through. And also other teens can make connections to feelings or stuff that they may have experienced and not understood that other kids also experienced. You can expect so many different perspectives and so many ways to just relate with all of these processes that we've gone through with all of these lines and all these characters that we've developed throughout the show and honestly it's just such a fun way to interact with a piece of art like this. Well that's all I have for you today Wolf Pack. I'm Paul Sabulo and I'm Gabby Bonbon and remember the strength of the pack is the wolf and the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy International, International Women's Day Wolf Pack. Wolf Pack.